nice little cyclonic cell that's formed over land here. It's a little bit of an anomaly. Generally, cyclonic cells will form in the ocean because they need more moisture and humidity to form them. And you, generally they die um, when they go over land. But this one's getting fed by um, the cell that it came from. It formed in the Timor Sea, just in the top part of Western Australia there. And uh, it's moved inland and become a more dense cell. I doubt it will turn into a full cyclone, but it may. Um, that's that's rare in the in the form of cyclones formations. Usually they form over land, move inland, and then die because of the lack of moisture and water. Um, but this one seems to be gaining intensity the more it comes inland. So it's a bit of an anomaly, this one, but not unheard of. And we'll have to see over the next few days how it transpires, if it turns into a cyclone or not. It may get pulled back into the Timor Sea, or it may even cross right across the Northern Territory there into the Gulf of Carpentaria. Oh, we've lost that picture. Into the Gulf of Carpentaria. Up on the right hand side of the Northern Territory in between the Northern Territory and Queensland. So it might get pulled that way and turn, uh, re reform back into a full cyclone again, or it might get pulled back into the Timor Ocean. And I'm not exactly sure which way it's traveling. It seems to have traveled inland from left to right. So I, I assume it's gonna keep going that way. If it does, I don't think it will turn into a tropical cyclone, but it may, we'll have to see. A little bit of different weather going on there.